Hi everyone, I'm Tyler, the Business Development Manager here at Management One Property Management. And today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about when selling your property, uh, whether to show it vacant or occupied. And when we say vacant, we don't necessarily mean nothing and no furniture in the property, right? We actually highly suggest and recommend that when you do sell the property, if and when, that you do stage it. Um, but for today's purposes, we're talking about vacant, no one living in the property versus occupied, whether it's yourself and in most cases here, occupied by the resident. Now, the first reason uh, we suggest that you show it vacant is with showing times, right? So typically in a real estate transaction with the showings, you'll have three parties involved, the buyer, the resident or yourself and the real estate agents. And that can get tricky at times. Um, and especially if it's rented out, uh, the resident doesn't like to be bothered that much. And so, you know, that's reason number one. Reason number two is buyers in today's day and age, they want to visualize themselves living in the property, right? So if the resident or yourselves are still living in the home and you're showing it, it's not necessarily bad. However, again, we suggest that you don't because then there's personal items out, um, certain decor or furniture that the potential buyers don't like and so we want them to make them feel like this is home. So the third reason why we suggest um, showing it vacant compared to occupied is you limit your buyer pool. And what I mean by that is when it is occupied, especially by a resident or a renter, there's time limits on that, right? How long is the lease term on the current renter's uh, timeline? And so the buyer pool limits to investors only in some scenarios, depending on the time frame again. And the last reason why we suggest that you show it vacant compared to occupied is it doesn't allow, if it is occupied, it doesn't allow for any major uh, upgrades or renovations. You know, the resident doesn't want to be bothered and things of that nature and even minor upgrades, right? Again, the resident doesn't like to be bothered. And so that's why we do suggest that you show the property vacant versus occupied. If you have any other questions, please reach out to us right away. Again, my name's Tyler with Management One and we'll talk to you soon.